I've been in the jewelry industry for the last 30 years, but I've launched my own company that deals with antiquity uh, eight years ago. Remounting of antiquities into modern settings has been done forever, but I thought it was very interesting to do it freshly today. And so what I do, because I use antiques remounted on modern mountings, is remploi. Basically, it's re-employed jewelry. We love things that are old and give us roots and give us purpose, I guess. On the other hand, we want to translate them into something modern or even something future. By treasuring those antiquities, by repurposing them, by re-theatralizing them, you actually bring sense into your present, which I think is rather interesting. The San Giorgi collection is extremely important because every stone is a piece of art with a fabulous origin, but also we can trace all the provenance, so historically that's really fascinating. That collection has selected items from a wide range of time. I mean, it starts in the second millennium BC and finishes at the fourth century AD with fine, fine example of every period. We mustn't forget that those pieces were actually meant to be worn as jewelry. On one hand, these pieces are very antique, they're very precious, very rare. They're worthy of being in the best museums in the world. On the other hand, let's put them in light, let's adorn a beautiful woman, let's put it back on a piece of jewelry, where it was to begin with. Jewelry is a decorative art. Decorative art can be absolutely amazing and really elevate you aesthetically. We've got the classic profile, and they appeal to a wide audience. Some people want something a bit more uh, intricate, an animal, for instance, a swan, a grasshopper. And then you can have uh, stories, the War of Troy, the Remus and Romulus in Rome, you know, all of these are fabulous subjects. They're like little stories, they're like little comic strips, basically. Once again, you have to put yourself in the time. No electricity, no light, no motor. Everything is handmade, hand drilled. They're more than artisans, they're really artists. They, they, they are able to come up with something absolutely gorgeous. They're cultural little treasures, and the understanding of them takes a bit of, of knowledge. But I think it's worth it. I see lots of young people interested in antiquity. In my case, it came with time. I think it says something very interesting about our epoch. It's all about more than vintage, it's about roots, it's about real value. You actually give sense to, to something antique that explains something and gives you sense to today.